like to tell you the story of my teacher to the best of my ability as I saw it and heard it. My teacher walked on this earth more than 2,500 years ago and his teachings are still practiced today. But I always related the Dharma in such ways that his listeners could see the reflection of their own lives in his words. This was so not only for adults, but for children too. But often related Dharma in ways that they could understand directly. Often he did this through his Jataka tales. One such tale was called the Monkey King. <laughs> High up in the mountain, far away from the towns and the villages, where the air is pure and the great river Ganges begins, stands a tree, a great tree growing from the banks of the great river. And it is a mango tree, and upon its branches grow the most delicious mangoes you can imagine. The tree is also the home to a group of monkeys. Mokka. And one amongst them is their dear friend and the wise leader. Dear brothers and sisters, be sure to watch that none of the mangoes on our precious tree grow on any of the branches overhanging the river. For if one grows there and drops into the river, then it will be carried to the city of the people. <laughs> and upon tasting its delicious sweetness, they will surely come here and take all of this away from us. <laughs> we must be very, very careful. And they were. Each time when a mango was spotted growing on an overhanging branch, it was swiftly plucked, and no mangoes fell into the river. However, a time came when one mango did grow on such a branch and was hidden behind a cluster of leaves, grew until ripe, whereupon, under the weight of his sweet heaviness, fell into the flowing river and was carried unseen into the city. On that very morning, as the river was carrying the golden fruits on his journey, the king, with his two attendants, was having his morning bath. <laughs> What's this? A lemon? It's too big for a lemon. A papaya! Too small to be a papaya. Oh, a mango! Oh, a mango! Oh, and it's so big, so round, so full, so smooth and golden. Oh, so fragrant and soft, so so ripe, so juicy. Oh, oh, so sweet. So succulent, so sublime, so, so mine. <laughs> now this, this is a mango fit for a king, a king's mango, a mango of mangoes, the royal mango. <laughs> I don't see why not. <laughs> Oh, now this, this is a mango. Perhaps that other fruit was a lemon. Oh, this one's so much bigger, so much rounder, so much more full, so golden. Perhaps this, this could be 
The Emperor's Mango! <laughs> Let's just have a taste and find out, shall we? Have you have you seen this mango though? <laughs> to the mountains, where the air is pure. And there stood the great tree. <gasps> man! Man, there it is! The, the, my mango tree! <laughs> one of those shades! There! Moving in the branches! Monkeys! Monkeys! He doesn't like monkeys. In my mango tree! <laughs> Eating my mangoes! No! Men! Yes. Surround the tree and shoot them all! And within a moment, the tree was surrounded and the king's men began to fight. <laughs> While I was up high in the branches. I will take this vine, swing across to the other tree, fasten it there, and of course we can make our escape. The brave monkey king swung across the great expanse, thinking only of the safety of his subject. However, the distance between the trees was too great. He could only just take hold of his outermost branches. That's it, quickly! Climb across me and into this tree to safety. One by one, the monkey ran across the vine, over the king's back, and into the safety of the distant tree. Many cross, the monkey king's hands bled, and the vine cut deeper into his skin. However, with his mind full of love, he urged them across and he held fast. Finally, only one was left to cross. Yet, this one has always been jealous of the king. He saw an opportunity that pleased his cruel and unloving mind. Quickly, my friend. I can't hold on much longer. I'm coming, king. I'm coming, says the jealous monkey. Just a few more steps and we all be free, free from you. The brave monkey king's back snapped and he plunged to the ground below. The king from the city had been watching all from below and he was deeply moved by what he had witnessed. Great king, you gave your life to save that of others. You have the true courage and compassion of a bodhisattva. And today you've shown me what it is to be truly noble. And my efforts have been more than worthwhile, dear King. And not only have I saved my own subjects, but I have shown you how to care for yours. <laughs> 